Hi guys, hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Project Perfumer India. It's Mohit here and we are coming with this video which is continuation to our part 1 of uh, alternate cheapies of popular fragrances which are good quality. So we covered 5 fragrances in our first video. Excellent response we got from you guys and that's why we are coming up with second video after about 2 months of releasing first video. So this is continuation to the previous video which you could see into our video playlist. So getting started, so these are part 2 of top 5 cheapies which are good quality and absolute value for money. So getting started with first one, this is called Frank Oliver Sun Java White. Now as the color of the bottle is white, this is of course a fresh fragrance. This one is similar to Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Now there are a couple of more uh, cheapies available for Silver Mountain Water, a couple of more clones starting from al Hub and a couple of more but this one is absolutely stand out this gives me good 6 hours, 6 hours to 7 hours the good part about this is this does not smell synthetic at all this gives you clean fresh ambergris vibe similar to silver mountain water and I would say this one is 85 to 90 percent close to silver mountain water which gives you a good quality as well not synthetic at all if you are into freshies this is a must check out for you guys just check this out this is called Sun Java White by Frank Olivier. Apparently this house has been uh, pulling out some really amazing cheapies. Right, this one cost about 1800 to 2000 rupees. This is the first one on our list today. Now coming to the second one. In uh, last year we had a uh, top release from House of Mansera by the name of Mansera Oud Wadi. This is a plain simple combination of Oud and Vanilla. Amazingly long lasting fragrance. Uh, the wood and vanilla are dominant in both and balanced basically it's not like it's too much of wood or too much of vanilla of course vanilla is there if you guys love vanilla or wood this is a must check out coming to the cheapie of this one again from the same house frank oliver frank oliver wood vanilla now this one coming to of course yeah this is a bit synthetic in the opening but then i would say this has got more uh, vanilla is more dominant on this one than wood this one is like balanced within vanilla, but overall these are 90% similar. This one costs about 5000 to 6000 100 dollars and this one is about 2000 rupees which is like 40 dollars. So of course if you are, you find, uh, this is itself, this itself is not very expensive fragrance compared to the niche quality you're getting at a designer price. This one you're getting exact same quality at almost one third price so this one is oud vanille winters are coming this is going to be amazing one in the winters so guys should check it out if you are into oud you are into vanilla oud vanille apparently oud touch was more uh, rose and oud combination which gives that middle eastern vibe this one does not give that this one is very natural oud and vanilla sophisticated not too loud uh, pretty sophisticated one Oud Vanille by Frank Oliver. That's the second one on our list. Third one on our list is called Cheriol uh, Royal Leather. Now, when it comes to leather, the king of leather fragrances is uh, Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. That was the first one who put this genre in the front line genre of leather fragrances. This smells similar to Tuscan Leather. This cost about 3000 and this gives good 6 to 8 hours so uh, whenever we say 6 to 8 hours that means it may go up to 10 hours as well it's pretty loud for first through 2 to 3 hours then it's a little bit skin close and by end of like say 7 8 hours this is this still there but not too loud on the skin so this one is Cheriol Royal Leather this house has pretty amazing offerings for a decent pricing uh, we do have stock other ingredients as well we'll be covering those if possible so this is called Cheriol Royal Leather, which is close to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, right? Normally, if you want to go for a clone of Tuscan Leather, you people go for Lai Yukuam by Rosasi, which is also expensive. People go for Oud Leather by Montan, which is also expensive. Golden Boy, that's also expensive. This one will give you 100 ml for about 3000. That's quite a good deal. That's a budget deal. Now, coming to our number two on the list, this is called. Uh, Elford Dwarne Crimson Isle. Now look at this bottle guys. So Crimson Isle because the color of the bottle is crimson. The cap, does that rings the bell? The cap is exactly like Amouad. So this one is clone of one of the top seller Amouad fragrances. None other than 
interlude. So interlude is basically heavy in sense and this is like the monstrous projection, monstrous longevity. This gives good 12 to 15 hours and even next day on your clothes. Uh, this one is slightly toned down version but for the price of 2000 this this cost 15000 this cost 2000 so you see the price is almost uh, one tenth and this gives you the exact same vibe as uh, Italy. this this gives you straight up incense smokiness since opening and it goes good seven to eight hours so of course uh, longevity of this one is higher so is the price so this one will give you exact same uh, wide of interlude. Now we see interlude there are not many clones available. This one is a very good option. So we sell uh, interlude decant about 10 ml for 1500 to 2000. So now you could buy 80 ml of this bottle for the cost of 10 ml interlude. So this comes in a similar ammo arch, uh, similar to similar box too. So this is how the presentation is. Pretty good, pretty neat. I want after sniffing this I want to check out the other offering from this house. This is again a Dubai based house which is pulling out some clones. This is called uh, Elford Warnick Crimson Isle. Coming to the top one on our list today, we, this is a uh, clone of one of the most cloned fragrance, Creek Aventus. So there are so many clones available. Armaf is there, then Rayane Tradition is there. These are in the cheap ones. Now coming to, there are some expensive clones, good quality clones too available like uh, Royal Vintage from M. Nicolef is there. Then we have uh, Pineapple Vintage which uh, we haven't tested out yet. So this one is, so basically now Aventus, when we come to Aventus is divided into two things, two categories. You see fruity batches and uh, smoky batches. Now smoky batches are the one uh, before 2013 and the fruity ones are the new ones after 2013. Every batch is, this whole line is so notorious, every batch is different so people get awfully confused now the new one some people find fruity ones better some people find smoky ones better so this one is by our brand that we are the exclusive distributor for this brand this is called Poseidon's Elixir 2.0 by Dua Fragrances this one is hands down the best Aventus clone available and trust me guys if I'm saying it's the best clone available it, the, what makes it best is the the pineapple it gives. It's it's close to this. Basically, uh, we are in touch with the owner of this brand, Masam. So Masam has uh, tried to replicate 15 Y11 batch, which is one of the best fruity batches. So this one is exact same thing. And it's so natural fruitiness, pineapple, blackcurrant, and it's so balanced. From first spray itself, this won't give you the synthetic white. This will give you a very natural white, and this gives good close to 7 to 8 hours of longevity with monstrous 7, 8 feet, 5 feet projection. So this is Poseidon LG 2.0 by Dua Fragrances. Cost wise, yes, this is cheaper than Aventus, but quality wise, this would go, uh, if, if not better, this is equivalent to the quality of Creed. But yes, this is more concentrated. Creeds are like say 15%, these are like 30-35% of perfume concentration. So that gives this uh, cutting edge and gives that performance thing from the first spray itself it will hit you up and amazing one so if you're looking for a really long lasting uh, performing version of Aventus this is the one to go Aventus nowadays the new ones give maximum four to six hours or some even don't do uh, four hours as well so this is a very good alternate to Aventus so this is called Poseidon LXC by Dua Fragrances we'll be coming up with another video for with all new launches of Dua Fragrances this house is doing amazingly good making expensive fragrances available at a cheaper price without compromising on quality so guys this was our list i'll just do a quick recap the first one on our list was silver mountain water clone sun Jao white by frank oliver second one was mansira oud vanil clone frank oliver oud vanil it's a similar name but it's oud without the a the third one we had was uh, Crimson Isle by Alfred Warney, uh, this clone of Amuat Interlude. Then we had Shariol Royal Leather, Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. And the first, uh, the best clone we have ever sniffed of our winter's Poseidon Elixir 2.0. So guys, I'll be putting links in the description. You can check out the products. If you want to buy a sample pack, you could do that as well. It's Moe's Perfume India signing off. See ya.